Over the summer, we welcomed loads of you to Big Motoring World. Maybe you were looking for something new to adorn your driveway with. Maybe something technologically different, like an EV. Well, I'm here today to show you our biggest summer slammers, our favorite cars from the summertime. So let's have a look. Electric cars are all around us. There's more on the roads than ever before, and consequently, there are more used EVs than ever. And our most popular EV over the summer was this, the Tesla 3. Now, there's not a lot I can't already tell you about the Tesla 3 that exists on the internet, but there are a few things about the Tesla 3 that I do want to share with you, and what it's like to own an electric car. A couple of things about Tesla that are obvious. One, they look good, let's be honest. Two, you mostly find them in white, but we do have other colors available at Big Motoring World. But the outside is what it is. It's got the cool, funky handles. You've got a boot, which we will explore later, and a frunk, again, something you can see online. But let's have a look inside. Let's, starting with the key. Tis a credit card. I've locked it. There's not a lot I can say about the interior of a Tesla 3 that isn't already on the internet, but there are a few things I want to draw your attention to just in case you'd ever noticed. So first of all, nothing in front of the driver, no distractions, good or a bad thing, I'll let you decide. Everything as we know is through the central iPad and console, could be a bit of a distraction, probably not once you get used to it, but something I discovered today, no joke, hazards are above you on a little button. That's because legally, you need to be able to activate those if all the power goes down. Pretty bad, I've driven a few of these and I never really noticed that. But everything else is felt and sleek. The seats are something I wanna draw your attention to. Power, electric, memory, heated, all fairly standard. But I've gotta say, the ergonomics are lovely. I have a bit of a dodgy lower back, and every time I sit in one of these, I feel like my spine is being reorientated and it's very, very nice. Is it good for kids and your family and general day-to-day -day living? Well, yes, lots of room in the back that we'll explore, and you've got a double pano roof, which lets lots of light in, making it feel very, very spacious. Is it a good all-round car? Well, actually, yes, it is. Hello, Moto. Lots of room in the back. You've got ISOFIX points across the back seats, which means one of these can go in quite nicely, a child seat. And because it's an EV, there's no transmission tunnel in the middle, big people and little people can sit in the middle with lots of room for their legs. So you can move all sorts of people around, whether you, whether you like them or not, or whether they were um, planned or not. Last little Tesla tip bit, there is a graphic in the interface that shows you which doors, front, boot are open, and you can control them using that as well, opening and closing at your leisure. Time for our real world test. What can you fit in the back of a Tesla? Well, if you've got a Tesla 3, you might enjoy a bit of golfing. So you've got to put your bats in the back. Okay, well that fits lovely jubbly. You're taking Junior, Junior, Junior with you as well. Luckily Junior wasn't in there while I was doing that. And bish bosh bash, pram is in the back. Room in the back, but also room in the front. This is a frunk, a front trunk. No combustion engine, so there is now space for a medium size suitcase. Imagine how much stuff you can fit in a Tesla 3. Tesla, maybe they are worth the hype. And if you're in the market for a used Tesla or a used EV, head over to the Big Motoring World website where you can browse all of our stock because we're big on choice and we're big on what matters to you.